morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Morning Word. Thanks for joining us this morning. For those new to this, this is where I share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I've seen God, through this good word, take my life from here to here. And I truly believe that God will want to take your life from here to here as well. Because God left us this promise and he says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And one of the ways that you can do that, that God says, is as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if we can think like God, there is no valley that you can't come through and there's no mountaintop that you can't reach. Because the Bible says this, there is nothing that is impossible for God, which means there is nothing that is impossible for you if we start to renew our minds and change the way that we think. So gotta say this, whatever I'm saying to you today, please study out for yourself. If whatever I'm saying resonates and makes sense, then please take massive action on it. But if it doesn't make sense, hey, ignore it, doesn't matter. But take massive action if this, this resonates because wisdom listened to isn't wisdom. Listen, wisdom where you take action is powerful. So let's really get into this. Today, uh, scripture inspiration comes from the book of 2 Samuel, um, which is the 10th book of the Bible. And we're going to be reading from chapter 3, verse 26 and 27. And he reads this. Joab then left David and sent messengers after Abner, and they brought him back from the well of Sirah. But David did not know it. Now when Abner returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside into the gateway, as though to speak to him privately. And there, to avenge the blood of his brother Ashihel, Joab stabbed him in the stomach and he died. I'm going to call this morning's word, revenge does not make a right wrong. Revenge does not make a right wrong. Now, Abner, um, who was obviously a, it was the um, high-ranking officer for the king uh, for the nation of Israel, had come to try and unify uh, the countries, unify Israel and Judah. And that's why he came to speak to David, King David, who was king of Israel. About now, Abner also uh, at this time had recently killed Joab, who had, who was obviously one of the soldiers for David's brother Eshel in self-defense. Now I've got to say this, it was in self-defense. And when he had come, um, he had left, he had spoken to David, and as he was leaving, um, Joab decided to call him back because he says, you know what? I have an opportunity here where Abner doesn't have all the armies around him. And I'm gonna avenge my brother's death. I'm gonna avenge what he did to my family. He hurt my family, he destroyed my family. So now I'm gonna do, I'm now gonna destroy him. And he would have felt justified in that. But David clearly says, you have murdered an innocent man. So David said to his own soldier, he says, Joab, you have murdered an innocent man. Because what David understood was revenge is never good. You cannot justify murder. You cannot justify slander. You cannot do justify tearing someone down because you've been hurt. And I've had to learn this. You know, so once again, anything I'm saying to you is because God is talking to me or God is taking me through a process or trying to educate me. This is not just for you. This is, this is my personal Bible study. So what we can learn from this is that the whole Bible and this chapter in particular talks about revenge is never good. You cannot justify wrongdoings because of revenge and because you've been hurt. And a lot of us are going to be hurt. Unfortunately, we live in a world where people will hurt us because, look, we're not perfect people. So someone's going to hurt you, but that doesn't give you the justification to tear that person down. It doesn't give you the justification to do something wrong. You still have to do the right things even when you're hurt. Even when you're hurt uh, okay, and you have all these emotions, okay, you still have to do the, wrong, the right thing. Because when you're hurt, you will have clouded judgments. So what, you know, we'll talk about what you should do in the action of the day, but never make decisions when, when your mind is clouded with revenge. Because you'll do the wrong things. So that really leads me to the question of the morning. The question of the morning is this. Do you know that uh, hurt mixed with revenge will cloud your decision making? Do you know that cocktail is a dangerous one of hurt and revenge is a, is a toxic uh, chemical that will destroy your life? Do you understand that? So here's, here's the lesson of the day. Lesson of the day is this. We must never, hear me now, never make decisions when we're dealing with unresolved hurts and pains. When we've been hurt, revenge seems like a sensible action. It does. I don't care who you are. It's like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you back. <laughs> we've all been there. Okay, we've all been there. But we must remember doing wrong, sinning, cannot be justified even though you've been hurt. You cannot justify it. Here's the action of the day. Never take actions when you, when you, when you have unresolved hurts and pains. Never seek revenge. Let God deal with it. Give it over to God. God sees all things. 
you just keep on doing the right thing and I'm telling you now, you will get your rewards in the end. And if that person done something that's wrong to you, they will get their rewards for sowing seeds of destruction. It happens. God cannot be mocked, the Bible says. You will reap what you sow. So please, sow good seeds. God bless you. As we always say, with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Please subscribe to Gen TV on YouTube and our other social media outlets so you get these, this content Monday to Friday, but also a wealth of other content to take your life to the next level because we truly want to see you live a life of purpose uh, and one that really gives God glory uh, and brings a smile to his face when he sees his children flourishing. So God bless you. Um, please share this video as well. You may know someone who's been hurt and they're thinking about seeking revenge. Maybe this is a video that you can share with them. Maybe you could just share the principle. Because if we can stop one person from seeking revenge and doing the right thing, we will change the community. And if we can change the community, my friends, we will change the world. God bless you and see you soon.